Hi everyone. Are you ever overwhelmed by just how much choice there is when it comes to jewellery? Not just in terms of style, but colours too. So I thought it would be fun to do a video series on jewellery in the colours of the rainbow, taking one colour at a time and looking at all the choice there is in one particular colour. So starting off with a series, today we're going to look at the colour blue. And no prizes for guessing that it's one of my favourite colours, but there are just so many shades of blue and I'd like to share you just some of the things in my collection. So starting off with stones, the first one is turquoise. Now turquoise has been around for centuries. The Egyptians loved it. They made lots of beaded jewellery out of it and it's also the birthstone for December. It also looks great, set not just in silver, but in gold or gold plate too. It really lends itself to complementing the metal, the silver and the turquoise. Now, another stone that's also considered to be the birthstone for December is blue topaz. Now, blue topaz is this lovely, clear, icy blue stone, really beautiful. This is a faceted piece. It's quite an expensive semi-precious stone, so you don't see it in huge, big chunks, but it's really lovely as a small pendant or a lovely pair of earrings, and it's often combined with other stones. So here we have blue topaz set with Larimar. Now, Larimar is um, a stone that is exclusively found in the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. And there's this beautiful, gorgeous, pale blue with sort of pale white markings. Really, really gorgeous stone. Moving on to a deeper coloured stone, we are looking at sapphire quartz. Now, sapphire is actually the birthstone for September. And you're probably thinking, well, what is sapphire quartz? Well, sapphire quartz is when they've taken all the tiny little bits of sapphire in the rock and they've crushed it all together and compressed it and then cut a stone from that. And that is where we get the sapphire quartz. So it doesn't, it's not actually found as a stone like this, but it's created and taken all the little bits of sapphire to make the sapphire quartz. But it's this beautiful, deep, purpley blue stone, sort of purpley navy, which is really gorgeous. Another uh, really vibrant, deep colored stone is Lapis Lazuli, it's this beautiful electric blue that really lifts any outfit. It's absolutely gorgeous stone. Another deep color is this midnight blue gold sandstone. Do you see it's got these lovely sparkly flecks in it? So a really great stone to wear in the evening if you want a little bit of sparkle. And it also looks fabulous set in gold plate or gold. And finally, in terms of stones, is one of my favorites, and that is Labradorite. Now, Labradorite, or Winter Moonstone, as it's called, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it varies from like a bluey green or a greeny gray color all the way through to this vibrant blue. So do you see this is a more sort of greeny gray spectrum? And that is a lot more vibrant in terms of its blue. And I just absolutely love it. It changes. Depending on what you're wearing, it's gonna pick up the blue in my top today. Great with jeans, but so many different shades of blue. So that is Labradorite. So that's it in terms of the semi-precious stones. In terms of pearls, there are just so many different shades. It's amazing. So starting off with these small scale pearls, we've got the icy blue shades, so sort of denimy blue, all the way through to a sort of teal, which some people may say is more like a sea green, but I still put it into the blue categories. And you can see how they all work together, lovely as individual strands on their own, or two or three colors combined. And again, that's just a lovely way to finish off an outfit with a pop of color. Another color in the pearls that I wanted to show you is this peacock black, it's called. Well, it's more like a bluey gray, but you see that it's picking up purples and pinks and different shades of blue. And again, it's wonderful with not just blues like I'm wearing, but a lot of other different shades of colors. So that's the peacock black. And we've also got this gorgeous vibrant navy in a side drill pearl, which again picks up all, all the different colors. And we've also got a navy crystal with a gray pearl, which is a lovely way of introducing a bit of blue into the outfit. And one last pearl color, this lovely cornflower, cornflower blue, which is like a mid blue color. So you can see there's just so many different shades, different shades to suit different skin tones, um, different choices. So if there's anything in the blues here that you like and you want to get in touch, please feel free to do that. 
and look out for more videos where we're going to look at a whole host of other colors and I hope you found this fun. Thanks.